Oh, ho, ho. I see something back here, Shane. Oh, we'll get to it in one second. Let's go. Oh my gosh! Each box I'm pulling is just unbelievable. Oh, you won't believe me if I show you. Hello, everybody. How we doing today? Yes, it's Robert Zabel with Super Shane. And guess what? We're back at this amazing unit. And our truck, we only had a little truck the other day, so we could only make two videos. This is going to be our third video from this unit. If you haven't subscribed or checked out the other videos, I don't know what we're waiting for. Do it. It's free. Awesome, awesome finds. This is vintage goodness at its greatest. It's like a 1980s, 90s time capsule. I mean, there's so much awesome stuff that we found. So many great, great toys, video game stuff, and and more. So, guys, don't forget. Hit the bell. Get your notifications. Let's see what we got here. Well, let's go up top first. Okay, okay. We got some... Little tight toys. Ooh, what's this? Turbo Datsun. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we got some cars in here. These are die casts. Look at this Ferrari. That's pretty cool, huh? There's another good die cast car down here. So. Yeah, die cast cars, all kind of play school toys, little spikes, bags, Disney stuff. I, mean, I know these are worth money. These little play things, you know, made of wire, wood things. So. I sold one before for a hundred bucks, believe it or not. Major League Baseball little bag. Some other bags. All right, this looks cool. It's like a sports hero soccer. Oh, it's like a game. Oh, I see there's this little thing and you hit the paddle and then you move this guy to try to keep him from scoring. Oh, look. And then you hit the thing. That's cool. Hey, wonderful tonight. 2001. This got more little tykes and play school stuff. Look at all the little people down there. Oh, wait, you see what I just saw. I can't, this unit just keeps getting better and better and better. I mean, look at this. Gorham Silver. So this looks like it's weighted sterling silver. That's one. Here's two. What else we got? Oh, oh, I thought it was something else at first, but that's cool. This is just a, this one looks like a silver play bowl. So that is cool. Look at all these little baseball helmets. And then, all the big baseball helmets. And there's a bunch more here. And then the rest of it's all the CDs. Eric Clapton and Bad Company and who knows what else, all rock CDs it looks like. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. So we got silver, baseball. Oh. Don't forget these asteroids. Oh, it's Yosagi Yojimbo. So he had a comic book for a long time and then he crossed over with the Turtles before. And then we just got blankets back here and Tons and tons of boxes around this corner. And uh, we're gonna move out this stuff here when we get to all these boxes. There's so much more stuff to go through. Let's see what else we find. So I know there's gonna be more awesome vintage goodness in this unit, but I know there's other stuff that you always get. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I saw some money right there. The first, we got a bunch of old shoes. Soccer shoes, of course. Oh, wow, Shane. Wow. Wow, Shane, look at these. It's all vintage Nintendo Power magazines. And there's some in here. Depends on... Let's see here. I'm trying to find... 
uh, right here, April volume 59.49. So who knows, you might have the first one ever. This guy was a mega, mega collector, but this is all Nintendo powers. And there's collectors out there that die for this collection. 34, 30s, here's 89, 88. Those are probably even older. 88 probably when Nintendo started, I think, right? So, whoo! Way the first ones in there. Man, I just, I see this paperwork here. And this looks like it's all more game magazines. Take a look at all these. So, this is Game Pro magazines. Wow. So, we have a whole collection of Nintendo Power, a whole collection of Game Pro. We found all the kind of gaming stuff. A bunch of empty boxes. We're hoping today we'll find the stuff that goes in a lot of those boxes. But we did find some of the boxes with stuff. So look at this pile of stuff we got to go through. There's more game magazines back here. Game Pro magazines. We got Lynn in here. We always got to check. It's like paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. So... We're gonna focus on this side. Let's go over here. Look at that. Supercharged. Race Pro Little Kids thing. So, <laughs> got some little kids' pajamas. Batman, Superman. This could have been mine when I was a kid. This might be my box of clothes. How to get in the storage unit? Ooh, what's this? What's that? Zax. And then Traverse. So, got some vintage games. Oh, got some tapes. Oh, there we go. Nirvana unplugged. Looks like Green Day's right underneath there. So, some tapes. They're starting to gain value. Kind of manage your little house. More trains. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Got some train stuff in here. Green giant, little th things. Got first place for buying storage units. Something. This guy, football player. So we definitely got a little train set in here. Vintage Reebok jacket. Oh, look at this truck. This is cool. Makes this thing it's pretty cool Ralph's toys number 16 in Nebraska US made oh there's our engine it's like the white album but the white engine so that's an interesting buy. oh I see some cool stuff in here yes it's the joy of cooking oh, that's what I saw Got some track in here. Look at this. Vintage trouble, but look. A Rector set. Probably looks like it's brand new in the box, maybe. That is cool. I love finding vintage toys. Because where in the world is Robert and Shane? Chesterland. Chesterland! Just like my dog. Oh ho ho! I see something back here, Shane. Oh, we'll get to it one second. Let's go. Oh my gosh! Each box I'm pulling is just unbelievable. Top box. Oh, look at this. Pee Wee's Playhouse lunchbox? No way. With the original thermos. That's another lunchbox. Pull rules. Playhouse. Yeah. Another one of them? That's two we got. Oh, this is so cool. Lego Land Castle, but it's all just Lego books, Jane. I actually had this one. I was a kid, the same one. And then over here. Got the book. Got not the spaceship. Let's see the spaceship's down here. Coke. A vintage coat. Look 
Star Fox. Turbo Graphics. It looks like we just got boxes again, Shane. That's got to be a money box bunk. Alien Crush. Oh, Game Boy Color Box. Memory Card Box. Nintendo 64 thing. There's another Game Boy Box in here. I just got to bring this out. I think we might find some games in here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Shane. All right, before I grab the games and stuff out, let me look at this. It's actually signed right there. So this is made by an artist. It was on this wood plaque. So that's kind of cool. I just got to check this box before I move it and forget to look at it because we've been finding so much great stuff everywhere. USA Soccer. What is this? Bunch of rosaries. So we found a ring, rosaries. Oh, look at this. We got some pins. So some religious stuff, but still definitely has value. I wasn't expecting to find that in the box. Oh, right here. Right there, another ring. I see a mark on it. I do not see a mark. Oh, right there. It has some kind of mark. I'm not sure. It says 925 or something. But. Holy smoke. Oh. More rings. Crucifixes. So who knows? Interesting, interesting unit. Wow. And this box I was excited about. Now I'm getting excited about this box. I forgot about the other box already, Shane. Let's take a look at that. Holy smoke. These are PlayStation games. Oh! It's in there! NBA Jam. TE. That's a good sign, Shane. In the hard cases, these are the most sought after PlayStation. 96. Triple play. It's in there. He's got foam in them. So where are all these games at? Oh my gosh. Look down here. These are all PlayStation games. So those are probably all full. Notorious B.I.G. Well, we got Battle Arena. Game Day. Twisted Metal. NHL Face Off. Mortal Kombat. Alien Trilogy. All the other PlayStation games are full. I'm assuming those are going to be full. But all this Nintendo stuff and the Turbo Graphics stuff is empty right now. But we did find the Turbo Graphics in the box and other parts for Turbo Graphics. But all these empty boxes are money. These are definitely money with the games in them. Whew. So we got to move a few things out of our way. I see there's paperwork, but look at this awesome Cavs locker. A box, the only one that's wrapped in plastic. Why is it wrapped in plastic? You gotta ask yourself. That might be the best thing in the unit. And who knows what's up here? There's this box. There's all kind of stuff. Oh, another Cavs locker down there. Box is stacked over here. I know we're gonna find some more vintage goodness. I mean, this locker's paid for itself over and over and over again. That's why I buy storage lockers. And I seen a few things worth money up front. I saw one thing that I thought maybe the guy was a collector of vintage toys. And man, I hit a home run on this unit. Let's see what else we find. All right, well, we move that big piece of furniture. Look at this. Like a seal fantasy 10 ps2 disc so it has a little video but this is probably worth some money that's pretty cool this is down here oh another one seal playstation 2 this must came with the uh magazines and then right here we got this vintage vintage computer we got the keyboard right here Ooh, there's a couple of keyboards in there. And I know some of these keyboards people want because they make the click click sound. Oh, more toys. Sounds, sounds like marbles in here. What's this saying outside? Oh, coffee. So we definitely got some old marbles in here. Kid stuff. Coats. Uh, 
1967. This is pretty fancy. There's a whole set in there. Holy glass. I didn't wrap it or anything. So this piece here looks like it could be crystal. This piece might be crystal. Wow, it's heavy. Definitely crystal. This looks like cut glass and cut glass and some milk glass in there. <laughs> These look pretty cool. The pirates, and they got left there by the pirate ship. Get a whole set of those. Who knows about the vintage glass? Looks like all the rest is clear glass, but those pirate glasses are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Fisher Price, little ride on horse. What kid wouldn't love that? Oh, this looks cool. Got some trucks. Wait, Rock Island train. Look at this. Got some Legos in there, some classic toys. This guy loved the toys, or somebody did. Hey, extension cord. Seems we found so much vintage goodness in here, you just don't know what to find. Let's change some new sweaters. Oh man. Now, anybody out there, leave in the comments if you think Shane would look good in this sweater. I think you. That's that's a lady stopper right there. You're like, why are you wearing that sweater? <laughs> that's a good looking sweater. This one, how about this one? Red power color chain. Oh, it's actually something that's in the box. Well, humidifier. Don't forget, we got a lot of games. So, there could be games in here. We have to look. It might not just be CDs. Beastie Boys. Above the Rim. Offspring. Candle Box. Foo Fighters. All sellable for sure. So AM FM stereo. What's under the sweaters? Oh wow. VHS collection. Okay, so this is like an 80s, 90s treasure tre treasure trove of goodness. Meow, eat your food chain. Meow. The Mean Streak Cedar Point Cup. Oh, nice. The Mantis. So, I mean, even his cups are collectible. It's crazy. Here's a Coors Light Cavs cup. It's a little damaged. And look at down there. We've got the Royal Dalton. Bunny Kins little set. So, there's another Royal Dalton piece underneath there. It looks like. Bunny Kins. More collectibles. And I already made my money back so many times on shooting, so everything here is just pure, pure profit. Hopefully, we hit something really awesome. Oh man, look at this. Oh, they're all baseball hats. I was going to say vintage trucker hats are good money. These all look like a baseball team. And there's towels, I think, in there. All right, we're up here. Oh, got some vintage mags under there, but right here. It's a little espresso machine, coffee maker, household, not the toys and treasures we we're hoping for. All Soccer America magazines. Holy smoke. Let's see what year these are from. April 2000. So he's been running the shooting for like 20 years, so it's all the way in the back. This might have been the first stuff he put in here. Oh, look at this. Donald. More train track pieces and the Rolo color. Soccer stuff. There's a jersey for something. Soccer jersey, soccer jerseys. Now, that's some 90 soccer jersey goodness. Yeah, this whole thing is just full of soccer jerseys. Interesting. What is this? Basketball card album. Oh, nice. Stuff's been here that long. It's just, 
Got Larry Johnson. Gary Grant. Let's see what years these are. This is 1992. 91, 92 season, I guess. This thing's just full. We got all the Lakers. I mean, I'm sure we got. Look at Magic Johnson. James Worthy. Wilkins. Larry Bird. Dominique. So, very cool. Man. So, another card album. This guy has all kinds of collections. What else could be in here? Oh, wow. More of the magazines. So, this guy, I think we had every one of these Electric Gaming Mumplies, man. We might have the whole collection. So, I know we got some more treasure in here. Can't wait to see what's in this box that's wrapped. Why did you wrap it? There's some speakers that look like they might be good back there. Let's see what's on the shelf first. This looks like some clothes and wrapping paper. Ooh, actually something's interesting on there. Oh, look at this. Brandy Mikasa Indian Feast. Speckle set. In the box. Con Strobo Tuner. I don't know what this is. We'll give it to Magic Mike. You'll be like, there's no cord to test it. Straight controller. CD tuner. VCR. All kind of, some kind of control box. Channel Plus. Old cable box. Clothes in here, the zippers are broken. Just a bag inside of a bag. Ooh, this is interesting. Legos. Oh, yeah. Loaded with Legos. So this guy had the city Legos. So, like Shane said, we had those boxes for Legos and manuals. This might be, we found this our second or third thing of Legos we found. Oh, here you go. French omelet maker. So we got the moldy pictures. Alarm clock. An alarm clock? Don't okay, be so alarmed. What happens to the first one? Don't wake you up. Yeah, don't be alarmed, Shane. All right, let's see what's in this box. Oh, ho, ho, you won't believe me if I show you. Holy smoke. They might be empty, but guys, these boxes are worth cash money. We found some with games, some without games. Castlevania box. Ooh! What's in this? Manuals. Zelda right there. Some, all the manuals, Mortal Kombat. It's crazy as all these boxes. Man. I hope we find the games Monster Party. I'm sure some of these boxes are $20, 30 $50 a box. It's just weird. Like, we found games in the, what was it, the uh, the Sega thing that we just found or whatever? The PS2. PS2 games and, uh, no, PlayStation 1, original PlayStation. Was those ones in the hard cases. Mm -hmm. wow. There's more paperwork underneath here. No! Woohoo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Holy smoke, Shane. Basketball card album. The ones was like Jordan. I just saw them in there. I think they might be all basketball. This guy, we think he worked for the Cavs or did, was a lawyer for the Cavs. Basketball album, basketball albums. All different years. These aren't even in the sleeves. Alright, 
Okay. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan cards. Right here. Whole page, just all Jordan. A couple Scotties on there. Wow. Just about different sports players. This team just keeps giving and giving. And giving. But just between those empty boxes right here, this right here, I mean, it's probably our money back there. We paid $510 for the unit. I gotta see what's inside here. This box gotta be interesting. I wanna see what kind of speakers are in here. And who knows, there might be some other treasures in this corner. I can't wait to find out. All right, this unit's been un, un, unbelievable. So many collectibles, so much vintage goodness from basketball cards, toys. I mean, it goes on and on. I love this unit. And then we got a, a walk. What are you talking about? And down here, look, ooh, there's a little bit of glass set down here. Here's the ice bowl for it. And it sits inside there, and there's all the glasses that come down. So set like that, we get 50 to 100 bucks for sometimes. So that is cool. There's this blanket and wood down here. I want to see what's in that box in plastic, but first, let's take a look back here. Holy speakers. What are these things? Five year warranty. Simcom computer tested speakers. Serial number. Oh! Guess what? I'll bring it. Look right down here. Bose. The Bose Corporation. Good company. So these things might be worth $100. They could be worth $1,000. Maybe more. Who knows? Interesting. Well, let's see what's in this locker. Let's go down here first. Oh, man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this Venus Pyrex piece right here with the lid. That's probably 30 to 50 bucks. A little more Tupperware down here. And a nice teammate. Oh, Box first, and then the boxes are at the plastic. Elephants. And a tire. A lion. <clears throat> a lion. I'm sorry, people. A lion. Ronald McDonald. Ooh, what is that? What is this? How things work. 35 science projects. Okay. The ooky spooky. Oh. I just found a revolver. Oh, look at this. It has a little police thing and everything. That's pretty cool. This is worth some money. Looks like it's actually made of leather. Maybe, maybe pleather. And the police flashlight. The official police. Police play equipment. Vince, his toys. Guys, I'm going to check out this box. But once again, thumbs up. Appreciate you guys all watching out there. What a great unit. Glad to have you guys came down on this unit with us and it's in our last box. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see it, do you? Okay, I'm going to show it to you. It's pretty cool, actually. Not what I expecting. Ooh. Take a look at this. Winnie the Pooh. From Winnie the Pooh. Looks like we got movie Chip and Dale. Rescue Rangers here. So vintage toys, vintage stuffed animals, cards, everything. One of the one of the um, most unbelievable units of the year. Can't wait to see what else we find. Thanks for watching. Check out all the other videos. Have a wonderful day. Alright, there's what the speakers look like. Pretty cool set of speakers. Holy TV, huh Shane? Man, this is old school right here. They don't make them like that anymore. Oh. Two of us to lift this bad boy.